my name is Tyson Broadwolf. I am with Cajon Valley Union School District. I am currently the Director of Transportation here. Um, I started in September of 2019, so I am going into my fourth year. As a driver, as a director, as a example to a department, I want to make sure I always have my school bus driver's license. Um, that's really important for my group of people to see that I can do the job that they do and I'm willing to do the job that they do. So I hopped in an electric school bus and I hot lapped it and I enjoy them. I think they're great. They're way quieter. They're way cleaner. The air conditioner rips on them, <laughs> which is huge in California when you know it gets up to 100 degrees and you're taking the kids home. Um, so yeah, that, that was my, my first experience with the electric school buses was just get in there and and do the work. It takes a lot of buy-in, but I'm very proud that our district is willing to do that work, is willing to put the trust in myself and my department to, to make it work. Whatever the case, I want to support the technology and I want to be as real as I can for the people that are coming up behind me. Uh, I'm Scott Buxbaum, Assistant Superintendent of Business Services for the Cajon Valley School District. I've been here a little over 11 years just looking at passenger vehicles, electric cities, electric cars and trucks, and that's where we're going as a, as a nation and a society. So I, I really had my eye opening for what kind of grant opportunities out there um, so we can start making that little push towards electric. Um, and that's where actually Lion Bus was one of the first ones I saw. Um, they actually came to one of the events through our utility, San Diego and Electric here in San Diego, with one of their buses to actually get on, drive. We actually brought some of our staff or drivers to take it for a test drive to kind of see what it looked like. And I really think when we started, Lion was really the big, the only manufacturer. I like to be on the forefront somewhat, but I also don't like to be the first. And there actually is a district in Northern California that actually was ahead of us in getting buses and infrastructure. And they actually went with Lion and we had some conversations with them to see you know, what they thought of the buses. It is nice to know that ideally you've got a bus kind of from ground up developed to be electric uh, versus retrofitting an, an existing diesel bus. That was kind of nice in my mind. When you have a brand new vehicle like Lion, it was, and it still is, it's still a learning process. You know, how can we make this bus better for our drivers, for our students? Like I said, we've been very pleased with the, the service and as each uh, new generation comes out from Lion, I, I think they improve, the batteries are improving um, and, and, and taking feedback from the end users of what can be improved. Use of the vehicle, they did a good job training. Um, they, any issues we had, whether it's warranty recalls or it's been very cooperative in fixing. And we see techs down here, we don't, there is no service station in San Diego County yet and that's I think as more of the Lion vehicles become available, that will be something they'll hopefully look at. There's just so many less moving parts on an electric vehicle that from, my, from a mechanic standpoint, the ability for them to handle uh, maintenance will be much easier. I think the vehicle, the grid actually led us into electric buses. At one of our conferences we have, the sdg and &E, um, they actually mentioned a vehicle to grid pilot program. Um, it involved all the infrastructure and we actually have um, six under the pilot program, six vehicle to grid charging stations. Um, but we really want, need the vehicles to make the pilot work. And so we got approval from the state to do a six bus pilot. We actually are able to now export energy back onto the grid. We actually, in California, one of our problems is there's certain peak times where we actually come very close to running out of electricity and they do rolling blackouts in California. And so this is the purpose of that pilot, is really to see when that time comes, can we put my, uh, energy back onto the grid. And I believe, and we did that, you know, it's only six charging stations and, and coming off of our buses' batteries, but uh, we, we charged, would have charged about 20 homes. Um, so that, that, that's the power we put back on the grid. So everybody's happy with that. That's what you can see that growing, I think. So you have thousands of these, you know, vehicles that could put back on the grid and provide, you know, megawatts of power potentially at, at a need. Lion was a great partner um, with, uh, with Nuvi, who's our charging station provider, and, and so we had to set a separate partnership with Lion to actually develop uh, the module that allowed us to do vehicle to grid. I'm, I'm building it out now so that as the vehicles come down the road, all my infrastructure is in and 
we're ready to go. It's nice seeing the whole country now follow our, our path, but I mean, I know personally, like, my next car is, I think will be electric car. I don't know if you drive electric, it's fun. <laughs> so I'm, my name is Juan Noriega. I work with Cajon Valley Union School District. I am a transportation uh, operations assistant. I've been here six years and um, basically I do scheduling and dispatching for our school routes in the, in the dispatch. I was a driver, so I got to drive one of the electric buses. Um, overall, I had a really good experience. It's quiet. Um, it's got good pickup. Um, kids loved it because it's different. You know, it's quiet for them. Plus, we do with a lot of special needs kids. A lot of them are noise sensitive, so diesel buses tend to be a little loud, which the electric buses are not. These buses just run. I was at, the, at a conference last couple weeks ago, um, a few weeks ago, and um, most of the buses there are still diesel. Most of them are still. Obviously, we saw all their options. We saw like propane. We saw you know, a few options that they had at the conference. But overall, most people still have diesel. And um, it, it was nice to be able to say, no, we actually have some electric ones and we have them on the road every day. 